Alright, here we go with another game with our White Nuzlocke and Nemesis Hydreigon. And we're gonna get a Dano lead this time. And my opponent, I believe, is actually using that weird deck that Dylan Bryan used to get top 16 at World 2013. Uh, you know, it's got Flareon, Garbodor, Driftblam, a uh, bunch of weird, weird stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, pretty good metagame call for last last format's metagame. But uh, we'll see how well it does going into this one against, uh, you know, now we got Vrizzy on the X and stuff. Uh, might be alright, might not, but we'll see. Uh, so turn one, we just get a... Deep Growl and it fails, uh, so that's about all we got there. But we did get a Dark Ride down. We got a Juniper for next turn, and out of my opponent we see drop two Eevees, drop a Mewtwo and a DCE, and a Colorless for four. And so we get the Sableye down here, and so uh, you know I hate to get rid of two catchers, uh, but we do have Junk Hunt. Looks like we're gonna have to go for this turn, so we should be able to get those back. Um, in this hand we get the entire. Hydreigon lines, Wayless and a Hydreigon, but uh, you know, I think we, we can, with a computer search, we're just gonna go ahead and ditch these two Ultra Balls. Uh, we can always junk hunt back for items. So we're gonna get rid of two Ultra Balls and get a rare candy, and that will allow us to get this turn two Hydreigon. It's gonna be very helpful for us. So we're just gonna go and free retreat with Dark Cloak and Sableye. And I think I'm actually gonna switch these two energies. Uh, Hydreigon would prefer to hold on to the blend energy, so we're just gonna do a quick little swap there. Uh, quick little swap there. I actually want to decide to put it on to Darkrai for now. And we will Junk Hunt. Of course, Computer Search. Almost always a good target to Junk Hunt back. And uh, we don't have a supporter, so we'll go ahead and get that random receiver back as well. So, shaping up okay. Now, this Flareon deck, uh, you know, Vengeance for two colorless energy, typically provided by uh, DCE. Uh, 10 damage plus 10 more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. So, that can reach into the win it KO range. But uh, if we can just outspeed it, then uh, it does have 100 HP, so that won't be the easiest thing in the world to do. But um, we do have a Prism Energy, which will provide us uh, our three Dark Energies. And we're just going to go for the Night Spear. I'm not even going to use this random receiver yet. Um, since Mr. Mime was the one active, I don't get any extra damage, bench damage from Night Spear. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy to go ahead and get that Mr. Mime out of the way. Um, we didn't have to expend a Catcher to get him knocked out. And here we see uh, Mewtwo just comes up and X-Balls me for 80 damage. And, you know, one more energy on that Mewtwo next turn could mean a knockout. So, fortunately, we do have a Max Potion. Uh, we saw this math kind of work out a lot. Uh, well, we've seen it work out a lot in the past. So, uh, we just make sure to move all the energies onto Sableye and not make a blunder and put the Prism onto Hydreigon. Uh, it's usually not a good idea. And we have a Skyla. We have we can use this Computer Search again. Um... I would like to go and be getting another Dark Ride built up. I feel like we're kind of sitting on hands right here. Um, you know, certainly I don't mind just barreling through uh, the enemy ranks with uh, one Dark Ride, charging through a Night Spear, but it would be nice to go ahead and get another one out. Um, we could probably uh, afford to use this Ultra Ball, perhaps. Uh, looks like we're going to Comp Search, though. And. If we're going to get a Dark Ride, we might as well use the Ultra Ball, but. Uh, uh, what are we going to grab? Uh, we could just try to build energy in play. Um, looks like I actually grab a dark energy um, rather than a blend, which is kind of interesting. Um, but anyway, that is indeed what we do. So we just get a comp search for a basic energy. Um, okay, uh, we do have a... Uh, we do actually end up getting in, so I guess that's good. We got a random receiver uh, for a supporter next turn. But ooh, there is a... There is a... Um, that's, you know what, that might be why I decided to go for the basic energy rather than the special energy was those enhanced timers. So we get that another Dano, as we might need to attack with that, never know. Um, and I got 60 damage on me only, he did have to, he did enhance hammer that energy away so that's less damage Mewtwo was able to do. Um, we're just gonna spread splats of 30 onto these uh, Flareons here. Can't quite knock him out in one hit. Uh, we got a Max Potion and Juniper off the prizes. Very good prizes to take. Um, there's an Ultra Ball away. Some stuff. I don't think there's too many Pokemon in the discard pile, though, so Vengeance shouldn't be hurting uh, anywhere near enough to threaten the KO. There is a Trubbish down, however. Uh, at this point, I think I may not have had a Tool Scrapper in the deck, which would be terrible. Uh, we get into three, but fortunately we get two Pokemon to bench down if we need to, and a Colorus, and there's a Max Potion. Um, so I'm wondering if I see how many ends there's been only two ends used 
Um, so there's not a great chance that it's going to get uh, put down. Thinking about going, going ahead and just Color Sync for 6 here. I don't really want to bench those two Pokemon. Uh, and we get Rizion EX in the hand. But this deck I don't believe is going to play any Hypnotoxic Lasers. So we're just going to go ahead and get that blend down on Hydreon if we do need to pull off a Dragon Blast. You know, it's, uh, if we don't have Dark Claw... Oh, there's actually my Tool Scrapper right there. Never mind. Um, if we don't have Dark Claw around, that's our only way to knock out one of these Flareons in one hit. So... Floatstone is already on the Trubbish, but we are holding our floats or uh, our Floatstone counter, the Tool Scrapper, in hand already. So there's a Silver Mirror onto a Flareon. Uh, you know, makes it pretty solid against Plasma, of course. And there's Garbodor, shutting off all of our abilities. But um, there's a Juniper and not a N, so it's not going to get rid of our Tool Scrapper. And capturing Hydreigon is actually pretty effective. Uh, as long as Garbotoxin's up, but thanks to having this Tool Scrapper already in hand, uh, we are going to be able to get Hydreigon back out of the active spot. Um, so we got a couple blends in the hand now. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and retreat, though. Um, you know, I'd, I'd kind of like to try to get this Garbodor uh, out of the way, but um, we're actually going to go ahead and power up this Hydreigon. Um, you know, it's got a three retreat cost. Uh, I believe I only run one Tool Scrapper, so I kind of rely on Sableye to get it back. Um, but with two Blend Energies, uh, if all else fails, we'll be able to... Uh, looks like I'm actually going to move an energy off. I don't know why I'm going to do... <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't. Uh, that was a misclick, apparently. Uh, Dark Trance Energy off Hydreigon, back on the Hydreigon. But, you know, next turn, um, if Hydreigon does get captured and Garbotoxin does become active... Um, we can always just say, okay, catch your uh, Garbodor and knock it out with Dragon Blast and then restore our abilities. So uh, that's kind of the, the plan right here. We got another draw supporter out of the prizes. That's good. We do get in. There is indeed a Floatstone onto the Garbodor and a random receiver getting a Juniper. Let's see if there's going to be a potential catcher on this Hydreigon. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to keep uh, running rampant with Night Spear. Looks like I'm uh, bopping my mouse cursor along, probably listening to something. Uh, yeah, let's see if there's what's, what's my opponent going to do here uh, down 4 prizes um, it's been really tough to take knockouts I don't think there's quite enough Pokemon in the discard pile to get the knockout just yet um, and you know a non knockout vengeance here well actually we were not going to be able to uh, use our max potions and everything and there's an enhanced hammer that's actually pretty big because now I'm not going to be able to follow up with a dragon, uh, dragon blast if Hydreigon does get captured, but there's a computer search. Let's see what this well, we're not gonna see what it goes for, but we'll see what it might have gone for anyway. Well, I am really rocking out right there. Look at that mouse cursor <laughs> popping up and down. Um, uh, probably looking for a double Colus, and there's actually another enhanced hammer, uh, comboing of course with Driftblim, who does 50 damage times the number of special energy in the opponent's discard pile with Shadow Steel. And what are we going to do here? Um, now, fortunately for me, uh, the Enhanced Hammers got split up. Um, you know, if it, both the Enhanced Hammers had gone on to the Darkrai, then I would not be able to attack this turn, I don't believe. Um, do a quick Skyla. Look and see what we got in the deck. Uh, I could always take a Dark Patch. That might be useful. Uh, maybe just take a Catcher and get rid of this uh, Garbodor. Because, as it is, I can knock out this active Flareon, but then there's another Flareon, and my opponent has a DCE, I probably just lose. Um, whereas, uh, with this, um, you know, I can... I don't know if I... Uh, let's see, I, I can still attach another energy this turn. In fact, I'll have to. Um, so, I believe what we're actually going to do is catch off this Garbodor, because... Um, I kind of need the ability to move energy around and use Dragon Blast on this next turn. Um, or at least, you know, I, I need my abilities back online, basically, to have a higher uh, confidence that we can actually win this game. Uh, so rather than take the risk that, you know, knock out this active Flareon with a DCE and then hope that uh, the other Flareon doesn't get a DCE, and in fact, uh, it does indeed come down, so that proves to be a a good play. Uh, the Hydreigon does get pushed up, and what are we gonna do actually here? Um, we are going to need uh, we're going to need a Dragon Blast, ideally to win the game at this turn. So uh, we are gonna go ahead and Dark Trance this stuff off, 
and go ahead and get this max potion. Hopefully put Hydreigon out of KO range. I didn't actually see how much damage de dealt to the Darkrai there. But we're going to drop these two. I think it's actually the same two I had earlier that I chose not to bench before Colorus. And we're going to try to hit a Dark Patch here. We can Dark Patch onto Sableye and get the win. And we do indeed hit a Dark Patch off this Colorus for five. We're just going to go ahead and Dark Trance these up. And Dragon Blast for 140 for the win. So, um... Tough play there at the end. Uh, looks like we made the right decision going after that Garbodor. And, uh, you know, this deck uh, is certainly a very fun deck to watch. Uh, unfortunately, the only deck it got uh, streamed against was Jason Klazinski's uh, beating it. Uh, that was the infamous game where there was a double attached and all that fun stuff. But, uh, interesting deck to watch. Uh, if you haven't seen that match, uh, I'd certainly recommend going back and watching it. I think it's actually up on the official Pokemon YouTube channel. But, uh, we're able to take a victory off of it here. Uh, it's kind of kind of prone to getting overran, I guess, by Darkrai. Seems to be the case. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and later days.